Welcome Aquarius and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message for week commencing Monday the 14th of June through to Sunday the 20th of June 2021. I've already pulled your crowning message cards and your crowning wisdom message cards. Let's have a look and see what they're telling us. So for your first crowning message Aquarius we have home, we have beauty and we have inner child. Okay, so for those of you that I am reading for this week, Aquarius, I feel as though with this home card, um, this is all about what is it you're recreating. Now, home in this context is relationships, partners, someone um, or this desire um, within you to recreate um, a place like home. OK, you may have gone through um, some real I would say some challenging relationships and I feel as though you're being asked to really look at those challenges. Um, it may be that what you are attracting or what you are um, trying to achieve is an environment that is safe, um, that is that feels like home to you. And that may be stemming from um, challenges that you may have had as a child, okay? So whether or not there were issues in the home, um, I mean, some of you could have had really happy homes and that's what you're trying to create with relationships, okay? You're trying to recreate something that is safe, that is at ease and if you had trouble and challenges as a child in the home I feel as if you're trying to repair that subconsciously with the beauty card I feel that you're being reminded to know that you are extremely beautiful and it's time for you to shine it's time for you to dust yourself off um, you know look in the mirror and literally say I am beautiful okay um, you may be required if you're feeling a little bit low um, to have a little bit of a makeover um, you know trim your hair put a bit of makeup on um, you know even though many of us may still be working from home or you could be homebound for whatever reason um, I feel that you're being guided to you know give yourself a really lovely bubble bath or something and um, pamper yourself and feel that beauty um, that is radiating inside of you I feel those of you that I am reading for um, you do attract people okay um, if you have um, challenges about how you look you don't think you look very good um, I feel as though the light within you is so much brighter and that's why people are attracted to you your light does really really glow and with inner child this is just uh, letting us know um, about home there is something um, in that home environment that I feel that you're trying to capture it could be peace it could be love it could be compassion um, but with this inner child you're being guided to dig deep okay this is all about your inner self these cards all right um there's something I feel that you've either gone through and you're just, it's either fight or flight. That's what it feels like. Um, and I feel that you're being guided to find that inner child, to have some, some fun, some joy, feeling the purity of the light within you because you are beautiful, handsome, okay? Um, and I feel as you do that, everything will fall into place. It's like you're being guided to feel at home within yourself rather than um, looking to other people, you know, maybe a partner, a relationship um, to give you that comfort, that ease, that happiness. I feel as though it, it's, it's you. It's you that needs to find that within yourself. For your crowning wisdom messages, we have the shining star, glow, I no longer dim my light, I shine bright for all to see. Then we have father of the sky, God, I release the weight of the world from my shoulders. And we have 
uh, the Empress of the Night finale. After the storm, I emerge a shiny new star. So for those of you that I am reading for, you most definitely have gone through some sort of trial or tribulation, um, something that has really turned your world upside down. And you may be in that phase where you're really looking at your home environment, really looking at what's your next chapter? Where do you want to go after that? And it might be quite burdensome for you. Whatever you have gone through, whether it's work, redundancy, um, relationships, um, family issues, health issues, I feel as if it dimmed your light a little. And Divine Spirit Universe is coming in to say that they are reflecting this back at you. That's why I feel that you may be questioning and asking yourself what is the next stage what do I do now it starts within you you're being guided to know that it's time for you to shine it's no longer um it's it's no longer good enough basically that you are allowing your your light within you to dim and with the Empress of the Night, um, it is definitely letting you know that whatever storms that you've gone through, um, just know the calm is on its way. And as the calm comes in, um, that is where your, your glow is going to brighten. Um, that's where you're going to rise up and be the shiny star that you are. Um, with whatever burdens, whatever you've whatever you're going through, whatever you're coming out of, I feel as though you're coming to the end of it. It's time to release that, okay? You may need to reach out to people that have um, hurt you in any way to repair that, um, to, to, to release that. If you don't want to reach out to those people, I feel that you're being guided to release those burdens um, to your spirit team. They will remove it. But the, the good news is, Aquarius, that whatever you have gone through lately, whether, and it could be anything, any situation, you know, like I say, it could be work, family, relationships, health, whatever it was, um, the, the storm is, is, uh, is over now, okay? And this is a time for healing. And I feel as though the healing is starting with you, okay? Finding that inner child within you, finding that beauty within you so that you can glow and shine as the shiny star that you are. All right, so Aquarius is, if this message is resonating for you already, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Let's get into your main love message. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does the soulmates of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Week commencing Monday the 14th of June through to Sunday, the 20th of June, 2021. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Aquarius that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? As above, so below and all around me. Thank you. All right, let's have a look, Aquarius, and see what's going on with you and your soulmate. My angels and spirit gut, thank you. So first of all, we have strength, absolutely. Then we have temperance. We have the two of pentacles. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Whoops, that's too many. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me how does this, thank you, we have the moon card. And do you know something was about, I was going to say as I was shuffling, I hope you all um, done some releasing, some manifesting um, as we um, come out of this new moon. Um, and I should have just said it really, but the moon has come out. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Please, can you tell me how does the soulmates of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Week commencing Monday the 14th of June through to Sunday the 20th of June 2021. Whoops. 
see Daisy. Well, I'm going to take the King of Cups because it uh, it um, was came up face down, and that's too many cards, so we're going to put those back. All right. So Aquarius is for those of you that I am reading for this week. Um, I feel as though whoever you are connecting with, I feel as though they may see you as somebody that's quite strong. I feel this is your energy, okay? Um, and I feel as you focus on your inner child, um, trying to restore that light within you, not allowing it to dim, I feel as though whoever you are connecting with is going to see the strength, okay? The strength of your beauty, the strength of the beauty within you, all right? And I feel as if they are being really patient. There's something that's happened in this connection or maybe something with you, all right, that has um, really unbalanced you. You may be juggling, um, I don't know, uh, work, family, um, chores, you know, day-to-day -day life, or it simply could be that you're feeling really unbalanced with your person at this time. But just know they are being patient with you. Um, they may understand or they may have an awareness of whatever storm that you have gone through. And I feel as if they're just looking at you just feeling as if you are a very, very strong individual. With the moon card, um, I feel as though um, something has been revealed to you and you may already know that whatever you've gone through has dimmed your light. It has dimmed that inner light within you. And I feel as though um, there might be a little bit of fear that whoever this person is, they may be taken away a cup of love. I feel as if they do have a lot of love for you, but there might be a bit of fear that they are, um, they're stepping back, okay? I feel as if, um, they, you may also feel that they may be juggling you with somebody else. OK, um, I'm just going to put that out there. That's only for a, a small number of you. But I feel as though what I am picking up is that whatever you have gone through, they're just being really patient. And if they have pulled their energy back a little bit, I feel as if it's like they don't know how else to help you. OK, um, and that is why your crowning cards is focused really on you. It's really about you going within and finding that inner child, finding that light and igniting it. Um, focus on on self-love, focusing on self-healing, focusing on self-compassion and self-kindness um, and having a bit of fun, you know, just know that the storm um, is, is passing, okay, and it's time to release the burden of whatever it is you have gone through. So if they have pulled back their energy, I don't feel as if they are walking away from you, Aquarius. I feel as if they're just giving you time. They're giving you time to heal, okay? Um, you could be dealing with Pisces with the moon card, um, or you could have Pisces in your chart. Um, also, Sagittarius and Leo is popping up here. So you could have Sagittarius and Leo in your chart, or the person you're connecting to may have those signs in their chart. Let's have a look at your clarifications. My angels and spirit guides of the divine... Please, can you clarify how does, thank you. Yeah, I feel as though your person has realized that you've gone through some sort of heartache, um, something where you're trying to heal, okay? Um, so whatever this storm was, I feel as though Aquarius, it really knocked you for six. Whether or not it is um, a deep-rooted or imprinted behavior or something within your childhood that is bubbling to the surface, okay? Um, or it could be something quite present. You may have gone through, you know, a redundancy or, you know, you could have gone through something with your family or, um, you know, maybe even a, re you know, relationship with your person. I don't feel that it's that, but I'm just calling it out. It could be literally anything. There's something that's impacted you. And I feel as if your person is actually just, they. I feel like they just don't know how to help you. Um, and that's why you're being guided that it starts with you. They recognize that you are in a, a state of healing, that you have been 
whatever impacted you really broke your heart. It was really stressful. Um, you may not have wanted to overly communicate, um, but you're, you're healing. And they see the strength of that. They see that you are applying strength. Thank you. Yeah, and what, what did I say? The seven of coins, they see that you're putting in the work, okay, to heal um, whatever it is you've gone through, um, maybe to heal a connection with them, um, to heal your finances, to heal family issues, okay? It almost feels as if, Aquarius, you're on a journey of just coming back to you yeah and they see the strength and they see that you're putting that work in with the emperor and the empress coming side by side i feel as though this confirms that you are connecting with your um divine counterpart for sure so i feel as though what is going on around you isn't to do with this person they've got a lot of love for you if you feel as if they have pulled back their energy like i say i feel as though they are just allowing you to do you to to go through this healing okay and they're being really patient okay um and i feel as though uh they do see you as their divine counterpart with the emperor and the empress here um they may see you as quite nurturing um see you as taking control of the situation taking control of this storm or this turbulent time that you've gone through and you're you're putting in the work you're doing the healing and they see you as extremely strong you could be dealing with aries or you could have aries in your chart thank you and then yeah i feel as though what is um perhaps got them feeling a little bit unbalanced um and not sure is that whatever you went through um you haven't fully transformed you haven't fully come out of that cycle and that might be why they're feeling a bit nervous to kind of stay at a distance you could be dealing with a capricorn or have capricorn in your chart but with it right next to the empress whether you are male or female i feel as though you are going or you have gone through transformation but you're not fully you're not fully through it if that makes sense you're coming out. I mean, the storm is over, but it's almost like there's healing that needs to happen after. And I feel as if that's what you're going, what you're going through. And it's it's making them feel a little bit unbalanced. Um, like, is Aquarius going to really get through this? Okay. And it just goes back to what I was saying in terms of um this person hasn't walked away from you. I just feel as if they have. They're just, they just, they might be a bit quiet. They might just have pulled their energy away and it's because they don't know how to help you. I feel as if you want communication from your person. You might be feeling a little bit defensive because you may feel as if they've taken this cup away from you. I don't feel that that's, that's the case at all. Um, I feel as if they just want you to heal right now and focus on yourself. And with the Nine of Swords, I feel, yeah, I feel as if you're, a little bit confused why they um, are not communicating to you um, maybe a little bit fearful that they have taken this cup away and as I say I don't feel that um, Aquarius is I genuinely feel as though um, this is all about you um, this is all about your healing your inner journey um, understanding what is it you want to create for yourself okay there may be, yeah, communication. They may feel, you may feel as though um, you're a bit confused why they're not communicating with you. Yeah, with the page of wands, I feel as if you want this person to take action towards you and communicate. We can see with the uh, wands, with the swords and with the page of wands here that you are wanting them to take some sort of action. These two cards represent um, communication, all right? And that's what you're looking for. You're looking for communication, which brings us to the home card. It almost feels as if, are you looking for that person to make you feel safe and at ease? 
And if that is the case, I feel as if your, your overall message is that safety and that ease, it starts with you. You've got to find that within yourself. This person I don't feel is, is moving away from you. No, not at all. I feel as if they're just giving you time to heal, hoping that you will get through this transformation. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you clarify? Thank you. And yeah, this person sees you as marriage material, long-term commitment, all right? So Aquarius, um, you know, this is a love reading. I feel as if your person does love you extremely um, a lot. They they have a lot of love for you. They see you as long-term commitment, marriage material. They're just giving you space and time to heal over whatever turbulence you have gone through. Yeah, and I feel with this um, Seven of Swords, it's over. Whatever you've gone through, it, it, it's over. I feel as though it's really um, uh, resonating with the Empress of the Night. You, you're at the end of something that was really choppy, uh, choppy waters, turbulence, storm, and you're heading into calmer waters. And I feel as though that is, they, they see that. They see that you are, are doing that. And an extra card, yeah, and look, finally uh, transformation this is what i feel that they want for you could be dealing with scorpio or you could have scorpio in your chart so i feel as though you are going through a transformation um with perhaps how you see this person in your life if you recognize that you were perhaps um putting too much onus on them being making you feel safe I feel as if you're waking up to realise that it, it starts with you, okay? Or you're being guided to. Um, I feel as if they want you to heal, okay? They, they want you to go through this transformation and that's what's making them feel really unbalanced. So Aquarius, in a nutshell, your person is feeling really unbalanced because they want you to focus on you. You're feeling really unbalanced because they may have pulled back their energy, which you want communication. You may want that um, tentative, affectionate um love from this person um, as you've gone through this storm. They do have that there, okay? But I feel as if they're more concerned about you doing you, all right? Okay, let's have a look at your advice messages, Aquarius. Thank you. The first card is dreams. Third eye chakra, dreams are where your mind translates the divine. So for many of you, you may be receiving dreams, signs, synchronicities, that whatever you have gone through, it's it's over, it's coming to a close, it's coming to an end, and you're being guided to basically heal yourself, okay? It's like that's being revealed to you. And it's not only just healing whatever it is you're coming out of, but really going within. And if your light has dimmed or if you just don't feel like yourself or whatever you've gone through, you, you, you just it, it's just chipped away at you. It, it's now time to to heal. It's time to look at that. And what was I just saying? Signs. There are all they there will always be signs to guide you on your true path. Again, your third eye chakra. So again, I feel as though your your spirit team is trying to communicate to you through your dreams. So pay attention to them, Aquarius, because I feel as if they are giving you the signs basically uh, with what your message is saying there's no need to focus on um this love of somebody that is the object of your affection they have the love for you okay your focus right now is on healing of yourself over whatever turbulence whatever storm that you have gone through um it starts with you all right and final advice card thank you yeah look it's action, action. You've got to take action for you to shine. You are made of stardust, so keep sparkling. So I feel as though whatever has hit you, whatever kind of um, turned your world upside down, it, it did dim you, okay? It, it, really, it really took the wind out of you. Now is a time for you to take action, for you to shine again. I mean, you've got three cards now that's talking about 
you as a shining star. It's time for you to shine. It's time for your light to shine. And I feel as if the action in order to initiate that process, it starts with you. And I feel that you've got to go within um, and really, yeah, apply some self-love, some self-compassion, um, kindness, um, and, and just allow yourself to heal. Don't worry about your person. Um, they are there. They haven't gone away. If they've gone a bit silent, I just feel like they're just, they don't know what to say or they don't know how to help you. Um, so, you know, they just want you to, to get through this. All right, Aquarius says, I'm going to leave that there for you. If this message resonates, please feel free to click that thumbs up button. Um, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, I'm sending you loads and loads of love, peace and light. Take care. Bye-bye.